wanted to explain some of the exercises that I did today. You guys will notice that I have a really big arch and I don't try to make that arch. I just naturally have a really, really big arch on my lower back. And I've tried to flatten it out by keeping my core in and tight, but I realized that I feel the exercise more if I just let my back be the way it is. So that is why I have a big arch. I did try to do a couple of the exercises with my feet up on the bench to keep my back flat, but I just can't. Like it hurts my lower back if I try to keep it flat. So that is why I have a big arch. I'm not trying to have a big arch or anything like that. It's just, that's how my body is. Always had like this huge arch on my back. And I promise I'm not sticking my butt out or anything like that. That is just how my back is. So don't be alarmed by that huge arch on my back. I feel fine. I don't feel any pain at all. And I actually feel the exercise more and I feel more stable and I feel more strong if I just keep my core tight and let my back be. Um, in order for me to like flatten out my back, I really have to like push my belly button in to the point where it hurts my lower back. I don't really know how to explain it, but it just does. I've tried it so many different ways and I just can't. I just prefer to do it the way um, my body wants to do it. <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain this. I'm sorry. I'm horrible at, ex at explaining things, but that is just how I do it. My body feels fine. I feel comfortable. I feel strong. I feel no pain at all. So I just wanted to explain that really quick. <laughs> issues for the past couple of days. I mentioned it on my Instagram, so I just wanted to talk about it on here. 
I did write a list down on my phone so if you guys see me looking down that's what I'm looking at I just really wanted to explain to you guys what I've been doing the past couple of three three to four weeks since I started prep and what I think I'm doing wrong and what I'm going to change for the next three to four weeks to see if that works because I have not been seeing progress at all I'm still 18 weeks out and that's a lot of time so I'm not too worried about it I will start getting stressed out if it's 12 weeks out and I'm not seeing any progress at all. So I'm happy I started really, really early. The first thing I want to talk about is what I've been doing the past three weeks since I started prep. As far as my diet, I've been eating intuitively, so I'm not tracking my calories, I'm not tracking my macros, I'm just using common sense and being smart about my food choices. But that does not mean that I'm successful every single day. There is certain days where I overeat and there are certain days where I undereat. So I wouldn't say that I am following 100% intuitive eating, but I'm just not tracking, so I don't really know how to label it. I guess just eating, I don't know. Anyways, so I've been doing that and I cut out going out to eat, which I think is the one thing that I did wrong. I've been going out to eat multiple times a week for the past year and a half and before that i was still going out to eat when i was prepping for a special event or a show i thought that by doing that i would just automatically be in a deficit because my training has remained the same everything else has remained the same so i just assumed that you know i would lose weight but that's not the case, I have not seen any progress. So that's basically all I've been doing the past three weeks. I've still been following somewhat intuitive eating, common sense eating, I'm not tracking my calories, I'm not tracking my macros. I stopped going out to eat, my training has remained the same. So that's where I'm at right now. When I say going out to eat, I mean I would go out and I would eat whatever I wanted. I'm not the type of girl who goes out and gets a salad or orders like the healthiest thing on the menu. I order what I want and, and I eat the portions that I want and then I get dessert too and an appetizer so I you know was eating probably 3,000 calories when I would go out to eat on top of my you know daily meals because I wouldn't starve myself just so I can go out to eat I just basically ate so anyways my calories for the past I don't know 14 15 months has definitely been very very high so I just assumed I would lose weight but I honestly think that is one of the things that I did wrong and I will start talking about that now I want to talk about what I think I've been doing wrong and what I want to do for the next couple of weeks because I need to start seeing some sort of progress before you know the 12 week mark so like I said I think cutting out going out to eat has been one of the things that I I've been doing wrong and the reason is because it makes me feel deprived and it makes me have cravings and that makes me overeat with healthy food notice that i've been snacking a lot and i don't snack on like low calorie things i eat like a whole sleeve of rice cakes two complete cookies a day that alone is like 800 calories that you know i'm really not thinking about I've been basically snacking a lot to try to get rid of my cravings in the past when i've done my my bikini prep or my um, prep for my wedding i was still going out to eat once a week and the way that i would do things is i would basically make sure that my nutrition was on point for majority of the week and then i would allow myself that one day to eat whatever i was craving at the moment and for some reason when i cut the only thing that i crave is pasta if you follow me on instagram and you uh, follow my journey to my pro debut in 2014 you'll know that i was eating pasta every single week i was eating out once a week and sometimes i would even go out to eat twice a week i don't like to call it a cheat meal but yes if you want to label it, it was a cheat meal. So I would allow myself to have that one cheat meal a week and that would keep me motivated to keep working hard for the rest of the week. So I was not, you know, over snacking or having like these crazy cravings at all because I was allowing myself to have that one thing that I wanted a week. 
this year for some reason I decided to just cut that out and I I know the reason why is because Dave is prepping with me and he wants to do his prep like a hundred percent clean obviously it's making me feel like I can't really go out to eat because I'm not gonna go out by myself and I'm not gonna I don't want to bring food in the house that he can crave or you know what I mean so I basically just decided to cut out going out to eat and I thought I would be fine but it's making me feel very restricted and it's making me feel like my old self in 2012 and that is a bad bad thing because in 2012 I basically rebounded really bad and that's one of my fears this time around for the next five weeks I'm going to allow myself to have that one thing a week that I want and I'm going to make sure that the rest of the week I'm on point. I'm going to start prepping my meals one day in advance and I'm going to make sure that I only eat those meals that I prep and I'm going to allow myself to have that one thing a week and I'm just going to repeat that. I usually don't prep and I have not prepped meals since 2012 but the reason why was because in 2014 in 2015 Dave's grandmother used to bring us lunch to the gym so she used to make our lunch and our dinner so that was basically like our, our prepped meals she would bring me just chicken and vegetables and that's it and I would eat that I would have my, my pre-workout my post-workout and then I would have my last meal um, before bed when I would get home I didn't really snack a lot and I didn't really like eat all day so that's what i'm going to do now i'm just going to make sure i have my meals ready to go the day before and allow myself to have that one thing a week and i'm going to see how that works i'm also going to be cutting out a couple of things from my diet because i've been having so many stomach issues and now i'm going to talk about that so i'm sorry if this is kind of long but i really just wanted to make a video and get everything out so i'm going to talk about my stomach issues and what i think is wrong with me i've always had issues with my digestive system ever since i could remember and my mom has issues too so i never really thought anything of it but the past couple of weeks the pain that i've been dealing with is has been really bad so after doing some research and talking to a couple of people i realized that i think i might be suffering from ibs and yes i know i should you know get checked out and go to a doctor but I'm just going to try to see if I can manage it myself and if it does not get any better I will definitely go to a doctor but for right now I'm just going to do a couple of diet changes and see if I feel better. I'm sorry if this is too much information but I really want to um, let you guys know my symptoms and why I think I have IBS. So again I'm sorry if this is too much information but for the past couple of weeks I think someone just came in. Someone just came in. One second. So for the past couple of weeks, I've been dealing with severe bloating after almost every single meal and really bad stomach cramps, excessive gas, constipation, and I think that was, yeah, I think that's all my symptoms. It's to the point where it's uncomfortable. Like being bloated all the time is so uncomfortable. Not using the bathroom, you know having a lot of gas all of that is just very uncomfortable and again i'm sorry this is too much information i notice that they get worse around my period i have them all month long but they get really bad around my period and um you know i really don't know what to do but to try to eliminate foods that i think are upsetting my stomach 100 percent sure guys that oatmeal is one of them because even now when I have just a tiny bit, I still get a stomach ache. Um, I have not cut out oatmeal just yet. I did cut out dairy this week, so I am no longer having dairy. The last thing I had that was like dairy was the chocolate chips in that meal prep video that you guys saw and that drink. Um, but other than that, I have not had any dairy. I cut out yogurt, I cut out cottage cheese, um, anything else that's like dairy I have not had. I also cut out whey protein. did have whey protein um, this week, but it was early this week. So I think it was yesterday or two days, two days ago, I decided to cut out dairy completely. And today I haven't had any oatmeal and my stomach is fine. I have, I have no issues right now. I think I do have to get rid of oatmeal and I don't think it's gluten because I'm still eating, you know, other things that contain gluten like bread and other things like that. So, and those don't bother me at all. 
so i don't know if it's just oatmeal i really don't know but it sucks because if you guys followed me for a while you know that oatmeal and yogurt is like one of my favorite things to eat and i was eating it multiple times a week so i i'm sad i'm a little bit sad but i feel better right now so that makes me feel a little bit better about cutting those things out so for the next couple of weeks i'm going to avoid dairy completely and i'm going to avoid oatmeal completely but i'm not changing anything else and i'm going to see how my body reacts and how i feel and if i feel better then those are my trigger foods if i don't then i'm going to try to you know see what else is bothering me another thought that went through my head the past couple of days is counting and tracking my food and i have not tracked since 2013 so having the thoughts about tracking and counting my calories and all of that is very scary to me because i felt like i had my body figured out i felt like i knew my body i knew what it liked i knew what it didn't but for the past couple of weeks i i'm just lost i don't know what my body is going through and i don't know what to do i don't know what to eat i don't know what's upsetting me so it's very very scary to me and i don't want to track because i know tracking for me it makes me feel restricted oh my alarm hold on okay so basically tracking for me makes me feel restricted i that's why i have not tracked because even trying to stay within a certain calorie goal or anything like that it just makes me feel restricted and i don't like it so that's why i've been avoiding it and the only reason why i've been thinking about tracking my food is not necessarily because of prep but because of the stomach issues that i've been dealing with i just want to make sure that my fiber intake is not too high um, or too low which i don't think it's too low it's probably too high but that's the only reason why i want to start tracking just because um, I want to make sure that I know exactly what I'm eating and you know keep like kind of like a food log to see how I feel and what days I feel bad and what days I don't and what I ate that day and etc but I just don't know if I should because I don't know if I'm ready to I like I said I have not tracked in years so it's scary I'm very very scared I'm not going to lie <laughs> and I'm I get emotional I'm sorry give me one minute i'm going to try to get through this without crying but the reason why i get so emotional is because i'm scared that i'm going backwards i've been following intuitive eating slash common sense eating for about three years and i've never felt happier i've never felt more balanced with my life and my fitness goals so it's scary and I'm scared that I'm going backwards, but I know that I have to do something because I feel so uncomfortable and the pain that I'm going through is not worth it. So I'm really not sure what to do. I know that I'm mentally not ready to start tracking because of how I feel right now, because I'm so emotional. So I'm not going to start tracking just yet. I will probably start tracking my food if I can't figure it out um, without tracking my food i'm going to make those changes that i told you guys and hope for the best i really don't want to track i just i don't want to I've always felt like i knew myself and i knew what my body wanted and what it didn't so right now i'm just having a really hard time because i don't know what is going on <sighs> okay i thought i was going to be able to get through this but i'm not so i'm just going to end it here i will go see a doctor if i can't figure it out but okay guys i'm going to end it here i'm not going to show you guys like a full day of eating i did prep my meals so i guess i could just show you guys my meals for the day i will put it over the screen the only thing that's not pictured here was my pre-workout and my post-workout pre-workout i had a banana and post-workout i had cream of wheat with banana and peanut butter and egg whites so that was my post-workout and my other meals are you know i showed you guys on the screen i'm going to wrap up the video here i hope you guys enjoyed watching and i hope you guys enjoyed listening to me i'm sorry if this vi video was too long i just really wanted to explain to you guys what i've been dealing with and just share how i've been feeling and my fears and what i'm changing so yeah so thank you guys again for watching don't forget to subscribe hit that like button if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time